Hello everyone guys, this is Daniel again, and just before we start, just wanted to go ahead and quickly remind you guys that We Gamers is an app by IGG. I would highly recommend going ahead and just doing daily things on there, getting points, because they, on that app, you can actually go ahead and redeem those points for in-game rewards, and those can really help. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shut up and just let the video start now. Thank you. Hello everyone again, guys, Daniel here. And today we are going to be doing a Guild Clash video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see what we have in store for us today. We're going to go ahead and do as many attacks as we can. Uh, right now I am actually at work so probably won't be able to do very many attacks. But let's just go ahead and see what we have. Right now what we have is Angry Spiders, Bulgaria, and French. Um, we have those three guilds. I'm going to go ahead and show both uh, all three days. As you can see on the screen right now. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump into this, see what we have. We have... I've already been scouted out for today, so we're just going to go ahead and look at Russian 43 space. It is kind of powerful with three level 200 heroes, but go ahead and... Let's go ahead and just attack him. Um, right now I'm just showing what he has. Um, but let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and just jump into this and attack. Oh, as you can see, we have an attacker already. Let's see who attacked. We have Skell, who took out quite a bit of the HP of the Stronghold in one attack. Pretty impressive. Alright, but let's go ahead and just go into the attack. As so you can see, since the heroes are all bunch jumbled together, what we're going to do is just, we're going to pull land, pull the heroes over with Landslide, and use Abyss to go ahead and heal up Landslide. Once I get my Woven Fiend to a much higher level, I'm going to go ahead and swap out Landslide with my Woven Fiend, actually. Go ahead and use Woven Fiend in hero mode, and it'll tank way better than Landslide ever can. Um, but right now we're just using our regular attack. I'm going to go ahead and activate Great Sage, lock everyone up. And I'm going to go ahead and use his skill again to lock up the heroes after his divine is over. And we're just going to go ahead and use the skills that we need to. And once Toxic can be unlocked, we're going to go ahead and activate him. That'll provide a little bit of healing, a little bit of damage, so a whole lot of goodness. Um, but right now, I'm just waiting for the chariot until we have a good time to drop that. Because once we do, uh, I didn't bring a spam deck in the skill clash, so it's not going to be as effective. But as I'm going to go ahead and just wait until I have a safe, um, a safe drop for the chariot. And unfortunately, my landslide just died right there. Um, but in just a moment, I'm going to go ahead and drop Chariot and go ahead and activate his skill in Divine. Um, this Divine in just a little bit. Once we get our cooldowns just a little bit lower, let's just go ahead and activate his Divine right now. Get a free Rage for the Toxic skill. And we're going to go ahead and get the free skills for the Great Sage, Abyss, and Wonton as well. And we're going to go ahead and get another free Toxic skill, which is always nice. And right now, we're just finishing up the attack. I don't think we would be able to one-shot this base just because it has so much health. Um, but we're going ahead and just try to push the best we can. I'm going to go ahead and... Ah, uh, we got locked out. Uh, let's just go ahead and push and see if we can activate Great Sage. See if we can just lock them out before they can actually do anything to us. Um, but right now we are all locked out. And, okay. Oh, but he locked us out right before Great Sage could actually lock him out. Um, so right now, we're just going to go ahead and see how much we can do. We have a minute 10 left, and we aren't even past the keeps, which is kind of pathetic. Uh, I do really need to buff up my hero aids, which will provide quite a bit of extra help in dealing with the extra heroes so that more mercs will stay alive, so we can do a lot more damage. I have a feeling that my Ironclad will be really helpful for Gil Clash, as I explained in the Iron Card review that I did, uh, he does more damage to buildings, and this would really, really help me in this case. I'd be able to punch through all these keeps and the victory statues, and hopefully, hopefully, even the stronghold. That would be quite helpful. Um, right now, you can see a lot. My hero, my team is dying. So I'm trying to figure out where Great Sage is because he's not being healed. And of course he's out of range, he is on his Bengali aid, so he's not going to be useful anymore. Um, but right now, just in the last 15 seconds, the last stretch, I'm just going to be doing as much damage as possible. I'm going to go ahead and activate Toxic Jump and Skill, 
get a little bit of area of effect damage and a little bit of crit percentage and get to do a little bit more damage but right now it's going ahead and finishing up this attack uh, I could activate great state I mean, abyss skill it wouldn't provide that much of a boost um, but right now I got 704 points which isn't the best but it is something and as you can see wow we have a lot of damage already and with this second attack skill took out even more of the stronghold I have a feeling that he's going to attack out the rest of it um, but for now that will be the end of that attack and let's go ahead and just jump into my second attack and we're back okay I just got on my lunch break today um, but for now we're going to go ahead and just jump into the second attack for our guild clash we're going to go ahead and see what the what bases are left um, right now, oh, I got 85 rings. That's always nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do, see what's left. And, oh, we're almost 50k. Let's go ahead and see which is left. Looks like there's only one base left. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom into that. Level 88 should be easy. Uh, yeah, this would be super easy for the heroes I have. I should one-shot this. I have no offense to that person, because my heroes are a lot stronger. Let's go ahead and attack. A... He's already under attack. Okay, so we have a 50k in the bag, guys. Um, based upon the players in my guild, um, this is going to be just one shot. There's not going to be any sort of challenge or anything against that person's base. Um, so right now, I'm going to go ahead and try to attack it um, just a few seconds after I check something else. But I don't think I'll be able to attack it. I think I'll just be one shot. Uh, but let's just go ahead and see... Um, Go ahead and try to go out and go back in just in case they did it in airplane mode and nope okay let's just go ahead and see if we have any sort of guild quest um we have a mutagen quest i don't know if i want to do that just yet i want to go ahead and check how much mutagen i have um as you can see i have a whole bunch of um guild quest rewards i can go ahead and claim um but as you can see, yeah, the 650, which is always nice, but I want to see how many I have. I have almost 20k. Um, I don't really need it, but I don't want to spend gold credits to go ahead and refresh. So let's just go ahead and spend it for that. Let's go ahead and put another 100 into this, because you do get an extra reward. Especially for the 3,000 reward, this helps a lot. But let's go ahead and get all these rewards. And we get over 1,000 rewards. We get, I think... I saw 1,050 or 1,070 guild credits, but let's go ahead and jump it back into this, and we have a 50k already. Nice. Alright, I'm sorry I wasn't able to get more than one attack in for you guys, um, but as you can see, based on my work schedule, I don't have access to guild class very much. Um, I was able to get one attack in for you guys, though, so as you can see that at the beginning of the video. Um, on the next day, which is tomorrow, I'm going to try to go ahead and get more than one attack in for you guys. But, as it stands right now, I'm going to go ahead and just do some hero trials, uh, attacks, and see what we can get. Um, these players are kind of tough. I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and refresh them, or if I want to go ahead and attack Diffix. I think that's how you pronounce their name. I'm not too sure. I think I'm going to go ahead and just refresh these. Um, or... Maybe. Let's go ahead and see what he's like. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and attack him. Why not? Uh, let's see how we do. Let's go ahead and do an attack. And... Okay, as you can see, I have the death mark. I'm going to go ahead and show my other two, which are the healing and then the stimulant. Stimulant doesn't really help too much. It's just whenever I have a flying hero that's really annoying or a hero that's um, activated the Pangoli aid already and they got some healing and they just need to go ahead and just punch through them just to actually kill them um, that's really the only reason I ever use the stimulant I use the healing quite a bit actually if they have a toxic shaman and they're trying to kill my toxic shaman with their toxic shaman skill I go ahead and use the healing go ahead and outlast their toxic shaman skill so my toxic shaman <laughs> skill remains supreme Oh, sorry for all those toxic shamans. Um, but right now, we're just going to go ahead and easily claim this in the bag. Um, we get a bronze chest. Right now, we're going to do one more attack here. And this is an easy, easy win. 
as you can see, no Pangoli aids at all. This is going to be easy. Um, I don't think my heroes will ever go below 80% HP for this. I think it'll take three hits to kill each hero, even like the Pounder. Uh, okay, four or five hits for the Pounder. And then once my heroes get unstunned, they'll just basically tear through all these heroes. Especially if I had an area effect, like an Ambrosia, it would just one-shot all these guys. Um, but right now we're just waiting for the rest of this. Um, just waiting for my Toxic Shaman to come back up. And I'm surprised, I'm actually having a little bit more difficulty than I thought I would. The heroes are dropping quite a bit more HP than I think they should have. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and just claim that Bronx Trial Chest Reward. And this is a... This is somewhat tough. I'm still going to go ahead and attack it though, even with those 200 heroes. Unless this is... No. Let's go ahead and attack this one instead. Um, go ahead and just get an easy win for you guys. Uh, right now, let's go ahead and finish this attack here. And see how we do. Hopefully, we shouldn't have... Uh, as much difficulty as we had with the previous one. Um, this person is even easier. Um, even though it has all three A's, the actual hero strength is easier. So we're going to go ahead and just come through this. And as you can see, there is a little bit of a glitch there. But we're just... Waiting for this attack to end so we can go ahead and get on to the next part. And this person's Zodiac gave me quite a bit of trouble. They actually managed to kill my Toxic Shaman skill and a couple other heroes impressively. Um, but for now, it's going to go ahead and end this video. If you want to go ahead and see something in the future, go ahead and leave a comment down below. But I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. And peace. And.